So today we had physics competition number three. Four students overcame the challenge. But I think everyone won this beautiful competition. Physics is the most beautiful thing in the world and physics competition is the most beautiful competition. And in the next few minutes, I'm going to go over every single problem so that you have 100% understanding, okay? If you look at this one, you're probably going to think because of misconception, this is free fall. You don't even need to know whether it is free fall. But if you are curious, go find the acceleration. If it is negative 10, then it is free fall. If it is something else, then if it is, it is not, uh, not, not free fall, okay? Let's solve it. Um, let's convert it to velocity versus time now. I have one, okay, so this is, uh, this is one, okay, uh, the total time is two, of course, and this is six, so I'm going to quickly put six over here, this is of course Vt, right, and um, what do we know, we need to know this is the initial velocity and the final velocity, how can we find it, of course, uh, we can find by area, area is equal to half bh, Area is 6, half, B is of course 1, and H is uh, the velocity. I multiply both sides by 2, I get 12. So initial velocity is 12, so final velocity is negative 12 therefore. Good, I know 2 point, I have 2 comma negative 12, and I have a 0 comma 12. And that allow me to find the acceleration. So acceleration is of course negative 12, uh, minus 12 over 2 minus 0. So acceleration is negative 12. Okay, so we know that this is not free fall. Okay, good, because this is not negative 10. All right, what are you going to do with the acceleration? We can write, we can do a few different ways. Uh, let's do math and physics two way. Uh, y equal to mx plus b, right? y is equal to m is negative 12, x is 0.5, right? And y is, of course, a 12. Okay, so you have negative 6, uh, positive 12. So y is 6. So velocity is 6. Of course, you can do uh, use physics. Uh, Vf is equal to uh, vi plus at, of course. Your velocity final is uh, 6. Okay, good. So we solve problem number one. Let's solve problem number two. What do you have? In, what do you have um, with problem number two? Problem number two, you see when you see a rectangle and you see a triangle, you know that someone is throwing a ball downward from the rooftop of a building. We want to find the height of the building. How can we do that? Find the base. Uh, find the BH. BH should be what? BH should be uh, negative five times four, which is negative twenty. Okay, good. Now find the uh, find the find the half of bh, right? Half of bh. So what is half of bh? Half b is of course four, and h is of course you have a negative. Uh, you have forty five. Forty five minus five. This is forty. So negative forty, right? So this is two. 2 times negative 40 is negative 80. So I have negative 20, negative 80, negative 100. So we're going to take the absolute value. Okay, 100 meters. Okay, that's problem number two. Let's go to problem number three. Let's see. Uh, again, it does look like free fall. We don't know whether it is free fall or not. We don't care. Maybe we do. Let's find the acceleration. How can we find the acceleration? Again, we find the acceleration by... Uh, converting it to VT graph. This is uh, how we're going to convert it, VT, right? And uh, this is, if this is 4, this must be 2, and 4 is over here, of course. And this is 20, so we put 20 here. Again, we want to find the velocity final, uh, initial and velocity final. How can we find it? Half BH will do the job. A is, of course, 20. Half B is, of course, 2. And h is the velocity. So velocity is 20. So initial velocity is 20. So final velocity, therefore, is negative 20. What we're going to find next? Next, we're going to find um, the acceleration. So let's write all the points we know. We know 4, comma, negative 20 and 0, comma, 20, right? So acceleration is Vf minus Vi over Tf minus Ti. 
which is negative 20 negative 20 over 4 which is negative 40 over 4 which is negative 10 okay so this is free fall acceleration is negative 10 so this is free fall then okay we don't care really if it is free fall or not we want to find what is the velocity if you draw a tangent line what is the slope of the tangent line that's what we are trying to find okay at 3.5 right what is the velocity at 3.5 it has to be less than 20 however it has to be more than uh, if it has to be it has to be uh, right here right here its speed has to be its speed has to be less than 20 but velocity has to be more than uh, negative 20 uh, okay good uh, how can we find it um, y is equal to mx plus b will do the job uh, y is equal to m is negative 10 a uh, mx plus b x is uh, 3.5 and uh, y intercept is 20 so y is equal to negative 35 plus 20 so is negative 15 velocity is negative 15 negative makes sense why is because the slope that if you draw a tangent line over here the tangent line the slope of the tangent line has to be negative because look this is negative good uh, you can also use vf is equal to vi plus at that will also do the job vi is 20 minus a is uh, 10 and t is of course um, 3.5 right so 20 minus uh, 20 minus uh, 35 20 minus 35 is negative 15 okay no matter how you do it you should get the same answer now let's go to the problem next problem next problem again you're going to throw something down from rooftop with some initial velocity which is negative 10 what is the height of the building so again this is bh bh is uh bh is um 10 uh, times 4 is negative 40. Now you have uh, half a bh. So half bh should be half. B would be 4 and a should be, uh, this is actually negative 50. I fix it later, negative 50. So this is negative 40. Why this is negative 50? Um, okay, bf is equal to vi plus at, right? So vi is negative 10 minus 10 and 4. So that gives you negative 50. So this one has no option but to be negative 50. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so the, this goes to 2. So you have negative 80. So this one is negative 80. So then uh, negative 40, negative 80 is negative 120. Height cannot be negative. So this is 120. Okay, that takes us to the next problem. Next problem, finding a mass probably. We're going to find a mass. All right, I give you this information. I want you to find the mass. Okay, so how can you find the mass? Very simple. Um, okay, so um, you have three equations. Three equations will allow you to solve this problem. Equation number one, FF is equal to mu Fn. Equation number two, FFs, right, is equal to mu S Fn. Equation number uh, uh, three, F, F, K is equal to mu K, F, N, right? Okay, so I don't know which equation you're going to use. You can use this equation. Let's see. Let's use this equation. Uh, F, F, S over mu S. F, F, S. F, F, S is 40, right? This is F, F, S, right? This is the maximum static friction, friction possible. So this must be F, F, S. So 40, 40 Newton divided by mu s. What is the mu s? Mu s is 0.4. Mu s does not have any uh, any uh, SI unit. So you have a 10 Newton. Good. What is 10 Newton? Fn. Fn is 10 Newton. Fn is 10 Newton. Okay. The object is at rest, right? Uh, our, our object is in constant motion, right? This object is here. So object in, is in constant motion, right? Good. So there is no acceleration. So uh, normal force is equal to what? At the y direction, normal force is equal to weight. So this is uh, weight. So F z must be F z must be uh, must be ten newton. Okay, uh, hundred newton, right? F n is hundred newton. This is hundred actually. Hundred newton. So F n is hundred newton. So F z must be then hundred newton. F z is actually m z mg is 100 newton okay so then m is equal to 100 newton over g okay 
and that gives you m is equal to 100 newton 100 newton over g is 10 meter per second square all right so mass is 10 kilogram okay good and that's how you're going to find it good you can also find it other way right you also can find it other way you can you definitely can use the other one uh, let's take a look instead of use this one you can definitely you can use this information and you still find the answer so you can say well i want to find it this way fn is what fn is fk over uh, mu k right so fn is fk is 30 all right newton and mu k is 0.3 so fn sh should be what fn should be 100 uh, newton okay so then that is fg so then uh, fg is mg so 100 newton is equal to uh, uh, m 10 because acceleration due to gravity is 10 so m is 100 over 10 so 10 kilogram you can definitely do it this way okay that takes us to the last problem uh, last problem is the easiest problem so let's do the last problem okay so this is the last problem uh, okay so <clears throat> let's see we are in uh, we are dealing with three uh, mass this is a small mass this is medial mass medium mass this is the big mass all right so let's draw the graph um, uh, okay, I'm going to draw the graph over here. This is, uh, as you see, uh, for a small mass, okay, a small mass. Uh, and then I'm going to draw the another graph, okay. This is medium mass, and I'm going to draw another graph, and that would be a big mass, right? So 0.584, right? This mass is uh, 1.084, 1 1.084 kilogram. Don't forget to write it. Don't forget to write it. And this mass is, this mass is, okay, what is this mass? This mass is uh, 2.084, 2.084 kilogram, right? Good. Uh, so we have three mass. Now, let's, uh, let's write it down. Okay, this is your FF, this is your FF, this is your FF. This is your FA, this is your FA, this is your FA, right? Okay, now, what is the maximum, if the mass is this one, what is the maximum static friction possible? 1.7, where does 1.7 come from? 1.7 come from right here. If, um, uh, if um, and then what is the kinetic friction? Kinetic friction is less than that, 1.5 Newton. And this one, maximum static friction is 3 and minimum is a well not minimum uh, this one is this one is 2.5 in fact this is minimum you cannot have less than that 2.5 what is this one okay this one is 6.2 6.2 uh, newton and this one is 4.2 so well, you see that as you increase the as as mass if you increase the mass what happened to the uh, to the maximum static friction maximum static friction increases what about the kinetic friction kinetic friction is also increases now if you want to find the mu s what are you going to do mu s for this one okay so mu s is ff what is ff okay now if i use this one 1.7 okay then that would be the mu s okay if i want to find the mu k then that would be uh, 1.5 i can find out of course mu k then that would be 1.5 okay but normal force would be the same what is the normal force normal force is 5.84 5.84 this is 5.84 all right this is going to give me going to give us 0.29 and and let's see what this is going to give us 1.5 1.5 divided by 5.84 divided by 5.84 and that's going to give us 0.26 this is going to give us 0.26 so mu k for this guy is 0.26 and mu s uh, for this guy is 0.29 okay let's move to the next one uh do the next one next one you have mu s which is fn uh which is ff ff is 3 divided by of course fn fn is uh 10.84 so you have again you have the same thing 
you have 0.29. So 0.29. So mu s is 0.29. All right. How can you find mu k? Mu k is, of course, 2.5 divided by 10.84. Okay. All right. So you get the point, right? And mu s, how can you find the mu s? Mu s, you can find 6.2 divided by what? Divide by, divide by, divide by uh, the mass. Mass is 20.84. That's the normal force, 20.84. Okay, and that is 0.29. Okay, and, and so on. And this is how you're going to solve this problem. Good. So now let's go to the table. Hopefully you will understand the table now. Okay, so let's, let's finish the table together. Okay, so FG is 0.84, 5.84, you multiply by 10. So that's give you 5.84 Newton. Okay, and this one give you uh, 10.84 Newton. And this one give you 20.84 Newton, right? Okay, normal force is gonna be equal to the, the weight. So this is weight. So normal force is going to be equal to weight. Why is that? Because the one pushing and no one pulling. 84 Newton. Okay. And this is 10.84 Newton. And this is 20.84 Newton, right? Okay, now I have to make decision, right? This one is my FF. So I'm going to just write down 1.73 and 6.2. And this one is my FF, FF. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this one is right here. And this one is right here. Okay, so 1.5, 2.5, 1 and 4.2. Okay, I want to calculate the mu s. If I do want to calculate the mu s, then mu s has to be 1.7 divided by 5.84. And that is what? 0.29. Okay, I want to find the mu s for this one. Then I have to uh, do the uh, following thing. I have to mu s to, to find the mu s. Remember, mu s is ff over fn. Okay? All right, so what is FF? FF is 3, 3 divided by what? Uh, FF is 3, 3 divided by what? 10.84, so 0.29. Okay, this case, 6.2 divided by 20.84, 0.29. All right, now we're going to come over here. 1.5 uh, 1 divided by 5.84, 0.23. Okay, and then... 2.5 divided by 10.84, 0.23. Okay, now you have 6.2 divided by 20.84, 0.23. You add them up and divide it by 3 and then give you 2.29. You add them up and divide by 3, 0 0.29, 0 0.23. So this is your mu k and this is your mu s. Okay, so um, I'll see you tomorrow.